Hi, my name is Shelby and I'm an engineer at NXP and today I'm going to show you how to get up and running with Tara Systems Embedded Wizard and MCU Expresso. So as you might already know, we've recently partnered with Tara Systems to offer Embedded Wizard as one of our enabling software technologies directly within the MCU Expresso SDK so that you can hit the ground running with evaluation and have a more seamless transition to their fully licensed product. So the first thing that you want to do is download uh, one of the IDEs that's supported by the MCU Expresso SDK. So either the MCU Expresso IDE, IAR, or, or Kyle MDK. Um, in this video, I'm going to be using the latest version of the MCU Expresso IDE that's available at this time, uh, which is 11.1.0. And then once you've done that, uh, we need to download our SDK. So you need to go to the online MCU Expresso SDK builder and we're going to select a development board. So after you've logged in with your NXP credentials, you'll be met with this screen and we want to search for the development board that we're going to be using today. So that's the i.mx 1060 evaluation kit and we can select that and then build the MCU Expresso SDK. And on this page, we can configure our SDK download. So you can choose the version that you want to download. Uh, if you want to include Embedded Wizard in your SDK, make sure that you're downloading version 2.7 or later. You can also select the IDE or and host operating system that you'll be using. And then down here in this table is where we choose which optional software components we want to include in our SDK. So for this video, we want to select Embedded Wizard GUI. So just hit that checkbox, and then you can go down here and give your SDK a name. And then we just want to download the SDK. And from here, you will need to accept the user agreement and then your download should start automatically. So now that we have downloaded our SDK, we'll need to install it in the MCU Expresso IDE. And we can do that by simply dragging and dropping the zip file um, and hit OK. And it will, it will automatically import that for us. So now that we have our SDK imported, we can access the different embedded wizard examples uh, that we included when we built it. So uh, we can go to this side panel and click import examples from SDK. We want to select the development platform that we're using and then hit next. And here you'll see a variety of different example projects that uh, came built into the SDK uh, there's different demo applications, different driver examples, and then a variety of different examples for the different software components that we selected when we were downloading our software development kit. So we want to download or open up a embedded wizard example. So we can expand this menu and you can see that there are five different examples that we are included in the SDK. Uh, these just show the use of different widgets, uh, different transitions and effects, drawing operations, um, and vector graphics. Uh, so for this video, we're just going to select the first one, uh, the embedded wizard uh, Bezier clock example. So we just hit that checkbox beside it and hit finish. and. This will pull um, all of the files from the SDK that are necessary for this example um, and put them into a project for us automatically. Uh, so now you can see that the project's opened up on the side here. Um, it includes an embedded wizard folder um, and in here is some generated code from embedded wizard, um, the platform package for the RT1060 um, project files and including the resource files that are used for this example. Um, there's also a simulation that's included. So you can open this up and see uh, before you run this project on the board, 
uh, what it's supposed to look like so you can kind of get a feel for what you can expect. Um, and then the folder that we really care about um, is the source directory. Um, and in here there um, is a device driver file which implements the interface between an embedded wizard UI application and the underlying system. Um, the EW main file which implements a generic framework for running the embedded wizard GUI application and then the main module for running the embedded wizard application um, and you can use this either with or without an operating system um, and as you can see this um, example is running bare metal. So from here you can plug in your board and we want to build this example project so we can go down to the quick start panel and hit build and it will start compiling for us. So now that this is finished building, we want to flash it to the board. So we can go back to the quick start panel and click debug. And the IDE will connect to our target and find the available debug probe. So we can hit OK. And it will flash our example project to the target hardware. And once it's finished, we go back to um, the top here and hit resume all debug sessions. And you should see the same thing that we saw in the simulation show up on the screen on your evaluation kit. To learn more about MSU Expresso software and tools, visit either the overview page or one of the community sites. And then if you would like to go beyond the examples that are included in the MSU Expresso SDK, you can download the free edition of Embedded Wizard Studio and start developing and testing your own applications on the IDAMX RT1060 evaluation kit, as well as other platforms that are supported by both MSU Expresso and Embedded Wizard. Thank you.